Hello gamers and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we're gonna make a money printer in Dreamlight Valley. No, no, not this kind of money printer, but pretty close. Before we begin though, I just wanted to remind you that the subscribers button is absolutely free. And if you click on it, great things are gonna happen. Like it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna change color, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Also, check out the Dreamers portal, the link in the description, it's finally out, and you can now upload the current Dream Snap if you already finished it, or upload your whole entire library of Dream Snaps. There's more updates coming to the Dreamers portal very soon, so make sure to make an account and uh, start creating your library. All right, so what do I consider money printer? I've had many videos before making uh, how to make money in Disney Dream Life Valley. But there is one method that I've never explored. And this one is actually has a possibility of printing you money because it has very low requirements of a time, of actually active time you have to put in it. You're not gonna be farming. There is a few requirements though. Number one, you have to have a lot of time benders because you are going to need a lot of mist from this method. And not just mist, but also a lot of resources, upfront cost to craft the money printer. But the good thing is you can start with a small amount of printers and then grow your printer base as you make more and more money and do more and more time bending. So of course I'm talking about the cookers. We are going to make absolutely disgusting amount of cookers. And I've been already crafting some and we're gonna craft some more today. I've been time bending nonstop to get all of these resources. We are gonna craft absolutely ridiculous amount of cookers as many as i can possibly like i'm literally uh oh i'm gonna spend all of my cores 70 basic basic ancient cookers it's gonna be ridiculous i can make 70 of uh regular cookers and now we're gonna make 70 hopefully i have enough resources we're out of we're out of ancient radiators <sighs> all right Welcome back, dreamers. Finished with the grinding. Now I should have enough to craft the rest of the ancient uh, cookers. I mean, now I have resources to craft even more of them, but I think 70 is enough for starters, for, for my money printer. Uh, let's make 71. That is fancy. All right. 71 advanced ancient cookers. If you don't have 35 time benders, this is gonna take you forever. So if you wanna use money printer method, make sure you have as many of them as possible. Now I'm down to 100k mist, which is fine. Which is totally fine, I can make so much more. Now let's clear out the area. So I'm placing them in like a little tunnel formation so I can literally go through the entire thing from start to finish. This was a cool area, to be honest, but now it's a money printer area. Okay, I completely underestimated how much space I'm gonna need for this. I don't think this is even gonna be enough. <laughs> I think I need to... I think I need to find a different spot for them. Ah, you going to laugh at me. So I did it. I placed almost 80. 80 outer cookers. And guess what? Look at this beauty. This would be the most insane cooking station unlimited money printing uh, in the entire world. I'll give you 15 seconds to guess what went wrong. <laughs> I spent so much time building this. So let me tell you a story. So remember my farming setup where I initially needed eight sprinklers to make it work. And then I, after I did the whole setup, I discovered that it just doesn't work. Because you could maximum have only four sprinklers per biome, right? So you cannot have more than four sprinklers per biome, otherwise all of them stop working. Well, guess what? I was smart this time. What did I do? I tested with my cookers. I tested four cookers per biome. It worked. I added fifth one. It worked. I thought, okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna test eight. I tested eight cookers. It worked. I added ninth cooker, and it still works. And I'm like, okay, great. There is no limit on cookers. 
Well, jokes on me, there is a limit on cookers, and the limit is... 10. <laughs> 10! I was one cooker, I, I didn't know how much to test. I figured if I can do 9, which is like more than twice of the limit of sprinklers, I was safe. Nope, you can have 10 cookers per biome. Now, what am I supposed to do with all of this? Well, I guess I needed to rebuild my storage system anyway, so... Back to the storage you go. Okay, so technically, you can still run this, but you will have to spread this between all of the biomes. You can start with 10 uh, auto cookers in one biome, then if you want to expand your printer, your money printer, you just build another 10 cookers in another biome. So in the end, after all is said and done, this is what my setup is gonna look like. No! Okay, that's it. And I'm not allowed to have any more of these anywhere in this biome. Let's set all of them up. So first of all, you gotta click on every single one of them and select souffle as a recipe, out of fill it, and click start cooking. Don't have to uh, start it right now. Also make sure that they are turning turned the right way because otherwise something like this is gonna happen, which is not ideal. Okay, I'm gonna count how long does it take to uh, start all 10 of these machines. Let's go. Click the timer, start, go. Gonna go this, cook, select 30. Add, boom, next. Number two, cook, 30, add, next. Number three, cook, 30. What I like about this, you don't have to have ingredients in your inventory at all, which is which makes this process so much more straightforward. 30, cook, 30. Now we go to the second row. Cook. 30. Cook. 30. Pretty straightforward. And you can do this on a console as well, so it's not just on PC. It's not faster or slower on PC. This is... It's, it's pretty... Like, they made it so much faster to reload uh, 30 dishes, because now if you hold the arrow right, it's just gonna go fast. Alright, so this took... Exactly one minute. I'm so so I'm gonna assume it's gonna take about 30 more seconds to claim all this stuff. So while this stuff is cooking, we just spent one, let's say one and a half minutes. So if next time when you have to reload them, you'll have to just click one extra button, claim. I'll show you in a few minutes. So let's just say, worst case, one minute, 30 seconds. Now let's say, let's see how much money we made. Now, each souffle sells for 1,230 coins. The price of all four ingredients is 820. So the profit per souffle is gonna be 410 coins. Now let's, let's plug this in. 410 coins multiplied by 300, because we have 30 uh, souffles cooking and 10 machines. Multiplied by 300, uh, and now we're gonna get the number of 123,000 coins. And it takes 30 minutes to cook. But that doesn't matter, because we, we're just counting the active time that we were working, which was, let's say, worst case is one and a half minutes. There's also gonna be some time required to buy the ingredients, but what I recommend doing is just going in the store, buying a full inventory worth of stuff, dropping it in the chest, and then you can just keep doing this, like, I would not add more than 10 seconds uh, to, uh, like, if you're actually bulk buying the stuff. So once again, I feel like 1 minute 30 seconds definitely covers buying ingredients and operating the machines. There's also going to be some time selling. Okay, let's go 2 minutes. 2 minutes is absolutely worst case scenario. To, uh, to sell stuff, to buy stuff, I mean, I mean selling stuff... We, we shouldn't even count selling stuff because when we make money, we usually don't count the selling part. But like, even if we do two minutes, that means that we are making 
per hour of actual work. 3,690,000 coins per hour of work. This is pretty good. And this does require decent amount of mist. It's 750 mist. Multiply this by 30. So each time it takes about 23,000 mist. Which, once again, if you have a decent amount of time benders, shouldn't be too difficult to get. So we're making, I would say, th the actual numbers in real life probably going to be over 4 million. 4 million an hour of actual work. And you can have these things set up everywhere in your valley. You can have one set up like this and every single biome. You won't have to worry about ingredients. I would recommend to just put like 10 chests in one area and just fill them up with ingredients. And you will not have to worry about them for a long time. This is pretty great. So this things, then you just come back and you collect all of this stuff. Now, does it make more money than farming per active time of farming? The answer is no. If you have 35 farmers, you're going to make more money farming pumpkins versus you having 35 time benders and making money uh, cooking souffles. But in the end, it's all going to depend on what do you prefer doing more. If you really like farming, probably go farming. But the thing is, if you make everybody a farmer, that limits everything else. If you make everybody time bender, time bending comes with its own benefits. Get, getting mist, mist is useful for many other things, like using vacuums, using even gardeners, using uh, like crafting all of the cool stuff that requires mist. All the fragments can be used to craft some of the coolest items. So time bending on average is more useful than farming. And it can give you pretty much like half of the profits of farming with the same amount of time benders plus all other benefits so I, in my opinion this is one of the best money making methods if you don't like manually clicking on the screen while cooking this is so much faster you can have as many you can scale this pretty much as many uh, biomes as you have you can run these in eternity isle as well uh it depend on, depends on how much money you need and you're going to be making one wait how much was it 123,000 of profits for every time you run 10 machines. Which is like more than enough than probably keep you buying out Scrooge store every single day. So you do this once or twice a day, you're going to be set with coins for life. And you still get the cooking memories from this. Once you pick up the souffles, if there are any memories to be had, they're going to pop out of the machine and you can collect them as well. And the amount of mist that you're going to be using is not going to be that high compared to, uh, like, especially if you have uh, 35 time benders. If you don't have 35 time benders, it might be a little bit more difficult. If you don't enjoy time bending at all, this is not going to be a method for you. And I know there are people who don't enjoy time bending for multiple reasons. For example, like needing to mash the button all the time, your finger can get tired. I, I totally agree. So once again, I don't think it's the best or at least the only method, but it is one of the best. If you're tired of farming, if you want to try something new, and you want to use some of these cool shining machines. As usual, I went overboard today, so if you guys want to make me feel better about spending insane amount of resources, crafting 70 cookers, of which I could only use 10, and I really doubt I'm going to set up these stations in every single bi biome, maybe two, two, three more, potentially if i if i ever need coins another thing you can do with this if you're farming pumpkins you can still make additional money by using uh outer cookers you can just set up the recipe which is five pumpkins it's going to make a vegetable salad that's going to sell for way more than selling those five pumpkins separately the profits i haven't calculated if the profits are higher than souffles but if you already have the pumpkins it's going to make your life much easier. Anyway, what do you think about the money printer in Disney Dreamlight Valley? Would you make one? Have you already been using ancient cookers as a money-making method? And if not, what is your go-to money-making method? Except pumpkins. I, I know it's pumpkins for most of you, but I'm, I'm curious to hear of any that are not farming pumpkins. See you in the next one, and check out the Dreamers portal. Goodbye.